Welcome, my name's Sharon Kelly and I'm really excited to be bringing uh, another chair class with, for you today. Let's start warming up while I'm having a chat. So once again, Coder NT have been very generous in sponsoring these classes, so a big thank you to Coder NT. All you will need is a ball or um, a cushion, some weights, you can use two sets, heavier and lighter. If you don't have weights, you don't have to use anything at all, just come along, you'll still get enough out of this workout. Let's go for four and three and two and one. Okay, just stretching out, stretching out the arms, squeeze the shoulders back. That's it. Bring the arms forward, give yourself a big hug. Come back and over. And show me two more. And last one, beautiful. Bringing your arms, your hands down, you want a nice um, straight back. Bring the arm over, just touching the hands. Once you see what I'm doing, look down and opening up the arm as wide as, as far as it will go. Nice and wide. And show me two more. And last one, bring the arms around to the other side. Coming all the way up, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Three and two and last one. Excellent. Just bring your hands on your knees. We're going to breathe in, lift the chest, arch the back, breathe out, round the spine, belly button comes to the spine. Breathing in and out. Three more, lifting that chest and out. And last one, and out. Okay, what I want you to do, I'll just move the ball so you can see what I'm doing, is lifting the heels and lift the toes. So we're rolling through the feet. So heels come up, then the toes come up. I always keep the belly in, which I'd like you to do. And three, and two, and one. Excellent. Let's bring the leg up and just do some circles with the ankle. Three, two, and one, and back the other way. Three, two, and one. Well done. Let's have a go at the other side. Same thing. Circle the ankle up nice and tall. Three, two, one and back and three two and one well done all right give the shoulders a shake out so the first tabata circuit will be 25 seconds work 10 seconds rest and we're going through four exercises and we'll be doing them twice i will get you to come up to do this as part of your warm-up so if you don't have a ball all you need to do is drop the ball, squeeze the hands together and come up and down like this. If you've got a ball, you squeeze the ball, belly pulls in and we're lifting up and down. Okay, the second set for your Tabata here is we're doing the um, heel taps together and we're alternating the ball across our body, squeezing the shoulder blades Trying to get myself into a rhythm here when I'm doing my upper and lower body at the same time. Right, third set is the ball again or your hands. And we're going to start with the ball up. We're going to bring it into the knee. Okay, now when you're doing this, keep my shirt down, tap it on your leg, pull the tummy in. And then the last one is we're doing alternating heel taps. And we're bringing the ball above our head, squeezing the shoulders down. Let's go for four and three, two and one. Okay, keep the ball by your side. We're going to start as soon as I get the Tabata on. Get ready and get set. So straight up and down, let's go. Squeezing into the ball, pulling the tummy in. Working those arms really strong, lifting up, breathing.
That's it. Come on, we've got five seconds and four. Nice work. Two and one. Okay, you've got a 10 second rest. So what we're doing next is the heel taps and we're bringing the ball over. And let's go. Squeezing the shoulders back. It's a little bit like scratching your head and rubbing your tummy at the same time. So have fun with it. When I'm teaching this class live, it is quite fun. We all enjoy it, especially trying to get stay in, um, in rhythm. Let's go for three, two, and one. Okay, have your rest. What we're doing next is we're bringing it down. Okay, if you don't have the ball, a ball, just your hands. And let's go. See if we can get that a bit higher. It. Come on, bring it down using that tummy, shoulders down. Come on, let's go for 10 and 8. Come on, lift the ball high. 3, 2, and 1. Okay, then we're going into the overhead heel taps. Okay, so it's, this is the movement. If you need to modify, bring it down here and let's go. That's it, squeezing those shoulders down. Try and keep the ball above your head. Oh, I promised myself I wasn't going to do that anymore. But, oh. Let's see. Come on, let's go faster. We've got three, two, one. Okay, you've got a little bit longer of a rest here. Um, and then we're going to start the same, same set of exercises again from, from here. Good time to go and have a quick drink of water if you want one. Um, you've got 10 seconds. You'll be nice and warm when we get to the weight component today. Three, two, one. Okay, straight up and down. Squeezing the ball. So we're really working those arms. Pulling the tummy in. That's it. Come on, push the hands into the ball. Well, we've got to make this work. We've got 10. That's it, come on. And five. And three. And two. And one. Have your rest. Okay, so the next one is the heel taps, bringing the ball across the chest, squeezing the shoulders back. Let's go. That's it. Come on. Every time you lift those heels, pull the tummy in tight. Good work. Squeezing the shoulders, tummy tight, chin level. Pulling the abs in. Three, two, and one. Okay, you've got your 10-second rest. We're going into that. The ball taps to the knee or the hand tap down. And go. Come on, lift up tall with your arms. Keep the arms going. If you're getting tired, bring the ball out this way. Otherwise, keep going. I know, you can't believe how much you can expend your heart rate and chair cardio. And stop. All right, last one is coming across the heel taps. Okay, and let's start. Three, two, one. Bring it across. Good, squeezing those shoulders back, tummy pulling in, pulling the toes towards you. Okay, come on, strong work. Two and one. Well done, have a quick rest. Well, I'm just gonna stop this for a second, so I'll run through what we're doing next. So we'll place the ball down for a second. Okay, we won't need the ball for the next set of exercises, so just clear it out the way. We are starting with burpees. So the burpees look like this. We're coming down, 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 and up. So clap your knees, smack your knees, and up. Now, if you don't want to touch the floor here, you can do a double tap and lean forward. 
Then we're going into, I'm going to bring my hands up. So it's a leg extension with a rotation of the waist. Keeping the shoulders pulling down your back. If you've got any issues, you can always come back and do it this way. So just choose where you want to be. Then we're going into calf raises with an uppercut. That's it, uppercut. So punching, going across the chest. And then the last one is going to be the hands hands coming up, high knees. So pull down, squeeze the elbows back. Okay, and we'll get the cardio. We'll go faster on this one, pulling the tummy in. Let's get going. Five, four, three, two, one. Into your burpees. Down. That's it. Nice strong work. Keep the tummy on. Come on, let's go faster. I oh, know. Burpees in a chair. It's great work. And last one. Have a rest. And then we're going into the um, leg extension with the twist. So we're twisting into the leg that we're um, turning to. And let's go. Now remember your options here. You can bring the arms down to your shoulders. Pulling the tummy in to twist, shoulders pulling down, so a nice long neck. Ooh. Three, two, and one. Ten second rest, heel taps with the uppercut. And three, two, one. Let's go straight into it. Heel taps with the uppercut. Come on, bring it up. Cross the body, getting into the back, the side back and the side waist, punching. Remember, the faster we do this, the more we're going to get, um, the, rate, the higher we're going to raise our heart rate, which is great. And last one. Last one here. So we're having our rest, coming down into the high knees with the elbow pulling down. Three, two, one, let's go. Come on, clap the hands in case someone's listening to you. That's it, good. Squeeze the elbows into the side waist. Pulling the knees up, pulling the tummy tight. And four, three, two, one. Okay, this is where you're going to have your extended break and then we're going straight back into burpees. Breathe. How are you going? I hope you're remembering to do everything, pulling your tummy in, keeping your shoulders wide. And just remember with your burpees, if you don't want to go all the way down, you can just go dirt, dirt and follow us. Dirt, dirt spells it right, doesn't it? And three, two, one. Slap the knees, coming down and up. Now, we should be really warm here, so why don't we try and go a little bit faster. And last one. Beautiful. Leg extension coming up, twisting the waist, keeping the shoulders down, space between your ears and shoulders. And let's go. Okay, so extending the leg, stretching out the quadricep, the hamstring, where well, you're contracting the quadricep and stretching out the hamstring. Pull the shoulders down. Three, two, one, 10 second break here. We're going straight into the uppercuts. And four, three, two, one. Straight into your uppercuts, pulling the tummy in, lifting up, rolling through the feet, lifting the heels up nice and high. Up high, punch it out. What about you guys, but I'm getting a sweat up here. And I've got a really good weight component today. Three, two, one. 
one. Okay, the last one is that high knee is pulling down. Okay, so remember, every time you lift the knee, pull the abs in. Let's start at the top. Three, two, one, coming down. So don't slam your feet down, control them down because that's working your lower abs. Sit, pull down, squeeze the elbows into the side of the body. And breathe. Two and one. Great work. Well done. Let's get rid of the, um, the Tabata. Everyone's always happy when I get rid of the Tabata. You're not going to need the ball just yet. You will need weights. For the purpose of this demonstration and what we're doing, I'm only going to use light weights, but you can use heavier weights. It doesn't matter. There. You'll get more out of it. We're not going above the head just yet. Sometimes going above the head, you do need lighter weights. Okay, coming into the weights, we'll start with the leg just to the side. We're going to hinge forward, come up and do a bicep curl. Now, if you want a little bit more here, you could bring the leg out to the side. So we're going to come back down and come up. Okay, so what's happening here is the inner thigh is starting to come into, into play. It might not be comfortable for you. That's fine. Just do what you feel good. Just put it back if it is uncomfortable. And let's go for four. And three. And two. And one. Now, wherever you are, whether you're here or here, what I want you to do is to put one weight down, centre yourself over the knee and come down as low as you feel comfortable. So you're really sticking the hips back. Shoulders coming up. Yeah, um, sorry. Level your shoulders. Squeeze up. Okay, so once you see what's happening, it's better just to look just in front of you. So as we come up, we squeeze the shoulder blade and place it down. Show me six. Pointing that foot away. Four, tummy working, three, and two, and one. Now, bring the arm up. We're doing little pulses. So we're squeezing the back of the shoulder to lift the arm. Weight is in the heel of this front foot. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's have a go at the other side. Bring it over. So we'll do the first few here and up, coming down and up. Okay, now, if you want to try it a little bit more intense, you can bring that leg out, coming down and up. Now, your hips are always different on both sides, so you might find this a little bit different on one side than the other. And let's go for four. And three, and two, and one. Okay, bringing one weight down. Once again, if you need to bring the leg in, bring it in. Otherwise, just gently, we're not holding on. We're just have holding it there to keep make sure we stay nice and even. Bring the arm up. Squeeze the shoulder blade. And let's go for three, two, and one. Now hold it up, squeeze the shoulder blade, just tiny little lifts, keeping this leg nice and straight. Abs are working. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And coming back. All right. It's coming down. We're going to um, go into some chest um, presses. So sit back on your chair. Just get these weights out of the way. Make sure you've got a sturdy chair. Now, we're pushing the hands in our chair and we're lifting the sitting bones off the chair. So push down the inner hands and lift the glutes. Pushing down into the hands, lift the glutes. So what we're doing is engaging the chest. And the, more, the longer you can hold it up, the more you're going to feel that chest work. 
let's go for seven. Come on, pushing down six and five. Really good work. And four and three and two. Come on, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. And last one, hold, 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 hold. Good work. It's a bit tough on your hands, isn't it? All right, we're going into um, a dumbbell press um, in, is supersetted with a, a fly. So you're going to lean back onto your chair. We're going to lift the arms up. We're going to do a press. Come, sorry, do a press, turn them out, do a fly and come down. Press, turn the arms out, let them come all the way down, fly and back into your press. Working through that chest and once again heavier weights are more ideal in this situation. Okay, let's go for six more sets. And five. Not a good counter. And three. And two, and last one, and let's bring it up, sitting back. Now, arms out to the side. We're doing an upright row, bringing the weights under your underarms. Come back down, turn the shoulders around into a bicep curl. So coming up, down, and turn. Once again, long neck. Abdominals are engaged. And show me five and four and three. You're looking good. And two. And last one, excellent. Okay, the last part of our weight training today is we're gonna come into waiter arms, come out, come back to the front, bring it into a bicep curl, rotate the shoulders into a shoulder press. Rotate the shoulders down and out. Now with waiter arms, try and keep the elbows locked into your ribs. And if you're doing this class this week, you've probably heard the gym's starting back in a couple of weeks in Darwin. How good is that? Okay, guys, let's go for four. Turn it round. And three. And two. And last one, well done, thank you. Good work with the weights. All right, we're just gonna finish off with some ab work today. So today's work has been pretty quick, but I'm hoping you've got your heart rate up and you're feeling the strength work and you're working hard enough with the weights to feel it. Bringing the arms up, we're just coming in and out. So we pull the tummy in as we lift the knee into the chest. Breathe out to lift the knee and bring the chest down. Breathing to come back up. Tummy in nice and tight. And we're going to do a few here. So if you get tired, bring the arms down to here. Make sure the belly's pulling into the spine. Okay, guys, let's do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, bring the arms down, give the shoulders a quick roll. We're going straight into alternating. So opposite shoulder to knee, pulling the tummy in. Take a breath in, breathing out. Now remember to come up to a nice um, straight spine, pulling the tummy in to rotate the shoulder down to the knee or lifting the knee up to the shoulder, I should say. See, so keep the shoulders down when you come up. And let's go for eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent, well done. Crossing your hands over, pull the top down so you don't see my tummy. Coming up and then over to the side. Now as we're going over to the side, we're pushing that hip into the into the chair. Get the big stretch, coming up and over to the other side. Bringing the shoulders around. And let's go for four and three and two and one and other way. And four, three, two, one. Turn your hands out and I want you to stretch them away. So what we're doing is we're stretching the biceps here. And four, three, two and one good work give the shoulders a shake let's just give the legs a stretch so we're going to bring one leg forward toe towards you coming down and all we want to do is make sure you're sticking your belt tail out to the back come all the way down feel the stretch in that hamstring point the toe if that feels okay for you and flex the foot point and flex and one more let's have a go at the other side coming down point flex point flex okay coming up bring the arms across the body nice big stretch with the shoulder so it's really important here well i find it's important to pull the shoulder down and lengthen the arm and if you think about it i always find i get more for from this stretch and let's have a go at the other side pull the shoulder down lengthen the arm Okay, and let's take some deep breaths. Good work today. Breathing in through the nose and out and again and out. And let's just do one more and out. Thank you for being here. Please subscribe. If I get 100, I can call this channel whatever I want. Thank you very much.